All right, everyone. Today we're gonna to be finishing up our pantry remodel. Uh, in the last video, we cleaned out the pantry, took all the old shelves off, and we figured out a lighting solution. So feel free to go back and watch that if you're interested in how I put lights into that pantry, uh, pulling power off of another switch in a different room. Uh, in this video, we're going to be basically framing up all of the shelves. We're gonna start by cutting our ledger pieces. Uh, ledger pieces are basically what the shelves are gonna hang off of. And then we're going to cut and install all of the shelves. So for this pantry, I decided to go with a wraparound design, meaning there's gonna be shelving on every side of the wall, utilizing the entire space, floor to ceiling, and making sure that everything is extremely sturdy, well-built, and uh, not gonna go anywhere no matter how much weight we put on it. So to start off, I'm gonna be building some ledgers out of one by two uh, boards here. These are gonna be basically screwed into every stud on the walls in that pantry. So we're gonna start by cutting off all these ledger pieces, and then I'm gonna pre-drill them, uh, having marked where every stud is on those walls so I know exactly where to put screws into. It's gonna be a lot of cutting, it's gonna be a lot of time lapses, it's gonna be just a lot of uh, repetitive work, so I hope you don't get too bored watching this. I'll try to make things progress as quick as I can. Um, but yeah, please enjoy this video, and we will see how this goes. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about these shelves for a minute. So, uh, I just put in these ledgers. So these are just a piece of one by two. Uh, not a very, you know, very strong, robust piece of wood, but I screwed them into every single stud available in that pantry, so they are very solid on there. Uh, so those are gonna be ledgers that basically the shelf sits on, and it'll be kind of like a cantilever beam. Uh, so I'll just have to screw the shelves down into the ledgers. Uh, now, as you can imagine, that's not a very strong piece for a you know 12 inch wide shelf coming out of it. Uh, if there's any kind of weight on the very end, it's just gonna fall right off and break this thing. So what I need to do is support them. Um, so as you saw, I made kind of the um, a wrap around shelf design with, on the ledgers, and I'm gonna put in some 45 degree angles. So here's kind of what I drew up. So as you can see here, this is kind of the shelf layout looking, uh, like this is the door area look, looking at it from the very bottom as if we're looking up underneath it. Uh, so we have our six inch shelves on the sides here, and this is gonna be our 12 inch shelf uh, coming from the back of the pantry. So I'm gonna put in these uh, 
supports on the ledgers. So basically that this shelf will be supported here and the six inch shelves will be supported here. So this area is gonna be where most of the load bearing ability comes from. Here we're basically just gonna cut 45 degree angles and then set our shelves down on top of that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Okay, that's it for those corner uh, support pieces. So now we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our shelves. On the sides of the pantry, we're gonna have six inch wide shelves. Uh, that's gonna be two by sixes that I got. And then on the back parts, we're gonna have uh, two by twelves. So those are gonna be 12 inch shelves, 12 inch shelves, it's hard to say. Uh, I'm gonna cut those. And so we're gonna have six 12 inch on the back and then a total of 12, so six left, six right. Uh, six inch shelves and then uh, towards the door I'm going to cut kind of a little bevel just so that you have some walk-in space it's not going to be a harsh corner for you to you know, bump your shoulders on when you walk into that pantry. Uh, so we have a lot of more cutting to do so let's get to that. Okay, so I've got the supports put into the corners of the uh, ledgers there, and now I'm carrying up the six inch wide shelves. So all that's left to do is to put these shelves in and then cut out the 12 inch shelves. Okay. So let's see how this goes. So next up, we have to cut out our 12 inch shelves for the back wall. We need six of them. So because this board is like eight feet long and I have a table saw and nothing else to cut this with, uh, it's difficult, you know, if I'm just cutting this section off to get an even uh, push and make sure this stays square. So with the long boards, I usually like to just cut the board in half and make sure I can measure out however many pieces I can cut off of this one board and that I can get an even number on each half. So I can get two cuts here, make a cut somewhere in the middle, and get two more off of the other end. Um, so I'm gonna cut it in half to start off with just to make this piece more manageable. And on my first cut, it's going to be 20 and 5 eighths for this shelf.
So before I make any more cuts, I'm gonna go test this out and see how well it fits. Okay, so that's gonna work. And we're just gonna draw some lines and do some cuts. All right, we got our shelves cut. Let's get them put up. Let's get them put up in the pantry. All right, so that's it. I finally got those shelves put in and everything is just really stable and secure. I actually got up in there and stood up on it. Uh, so now all that's left to do, I'm just gonna clean up my mess and fix the drywall holes where the old uh, pantry shelves were. And then we'll stock it and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, everyone, that's it. It's all done, stocked, looking great. So to recap, we started out by uh, putting in a power outlet off of the other room and then we put in these LED lights. Uh, then we put in these ledgers to hook the shelves onto. Found every single stud and screwed them into that. Then we built some supports uh, to hold the shelves off those ledgers. And then we cut our 6 inch and 12 inch shelves for the back. Finally, we just screwed everything together, put a coat of paint on the trim, and cleaned up in here and stocked it. So, that is the entire project. Hope you guys learned something from this, and I know I had a great time building it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. So, until next time, uh, my name is Jake. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you later.